sharing some of my simple decorating ideas for spring. Now my spring decorating ideas are unlike so many others. At first they are very simple but yet beautiful. I love things that are very minimal so you don't have to go and spend a fortune at the store to integrate a little spring into your home. I hope you enjoy these ideas and they help you refresh your home for spring. My first spring decorating idea is the simplest of all. It's decluttering. Now, I know when you think of decorating, you don't think of decluttering, but what a difference it can make. It can make your home feel lighter and airier without hardly any effort or any expense. You can receive my decluttering checklist in the description below. Decluttering not only eliminates the excess, but it also allows the decor you do have to truly shine and stand out. My next spring decorating tip is to bring in a hint of color. I like to lighten up my textiles for the spring season. So rather than those bold navies, maybe a lighter, softer blue, or a light, dusty sage green, pale yellows, pinks, the options are endless, but I like to lighten up all of our textiles, including pillow covers and bed linens, towels, and so much more. When you lighten them up, you instantly make your home feel lighter and airier for spring. My next spring decorating tip is to add flowers and greenery. Now you've heard me say this before, but adding flowers or greenery or something organic to a space instantly brings a room to life. And in the spring, of course, we have so many beautiful blooming branches. We have cherry blossoms and beautiful lilacs. And of course, we'll also have peony season, which is among my very favorite. So bring the outdoors in. You don't have to rush off to the store. You can simply look outdoors to your garden and see what you can find, what is blooming, even pretty greens like viburnum are wonderful to bring in during this season. Now, if you don't have anything in bloom, don't fret. You know my love for seeking out grocery store flowers. I'll link to that video here. Now, one of my favorite grocery store flowers that you can make a quick arrangement with are tulips. You'll find a tutorial for that here at YouTube, and you'll also find one on my site at julieblanner.com. They couldn't be easier to arrange if they take less than three minutes. You'll get all my tips and tricks, but you can choose any beautiful hue or stick with a simple white. Whatever you do, they are sure to add a little joy to your home and make it feel oh so springy. Throughout our home this spring, you'll find an abundance of olive branches, lavender plants, as well as some chamomile. And of course, those pretty cherry blossom branches. And we just finished lilac season and I clipped them all and saved them from the last winter snow and brought them into our kitchen. Whatever is in season, bring it on in. It's free, it's beautiful, and will instantly transform your home. My next tip is to layer in subtle textures. Of course, I always love a basket weave, but you can also integrate textures into your pillows and throws, and your bedding as well.
I love incorporating linens this time of the year, a subtle cotton weave, anything to bring in a little soft texture. It makes it feel cozy while feeling calm. You don't have to limit pillows and throws just to the indoors. They're perfect and suitable for outdoors as well. Get some outdoor pillows with a nice, beautiful texture and of course a throw to cozy up on one of those chilly spring evenings. It will make your home feel so cozy and so springy. This is also the perfect time to eliminate anything that's tattered or torn like your hand towels and give them a full refresh. It's a really inexpensive way to update your home for spring and throw out the old. Of course, I always recommend donating those to an animal shelter. They're often looking for old linens to make cozy bedding for their animals. When you have out of season pillow covers and throws, I recommend storing those in a linen closet or a linen cabinet until the next fall or next winter. Another easy way to decorate your home for spring is by integrating a new spring wreath. I love using wreaths to transition my home from one season to the next. Right now we have a beautiful eucalyptus, but I often will use a lavender wreath. Whatever you have that feels springy to you, or you can use something really traditional like a boxwood wreath or an olive wreath and simply add a ribbon to it. However you do it, it is sure to be welcoming to your guests. An often overlooked spring decorating idea is updating your artwork. Now I know that sounds like a lot of effort, but fortunately it's not at all. I actually have over 20 DIY wall art ideas. Here are just a few of my easy favorites. One is a pressed botanical. I simply pressed a lavender stem with an iron and glued it to a piece of paper and framed it in a beautiful gold frame. Now when it's out of season, I can simply put something else in front of it, but it tends to stick around every season except for the months of December through February in which I usually have a Christmas wreath that lasts all winter in our bathroom. Another easy DIY wall art idea that you can do is you can get a free printable. I have an array of art sources that are free in the public domain for you to choose from and you can simply put that in front of whatever picture you already have in your frame. I also have a really great post on all of the art that Studio McGee has to offer available at Target. This painting right behind me was actually only $23. I'll link to it in the description below, but you better get it quick because they come and go very fast. But I also currently love a wildflower print that they have, but it's a really easy and inexpensive way just replace what you already have on a hook and roll with it. If you have a frame TV, you can also simply change the art on your frame TV. A lot of other smart TVs have that capability as well. I have, again, a whole list of art free in the public domain to choose from, but it's a really simple way to update your space. We have one in our laundry room, our bedroom, and living room and I change the pictures on it with every season. It takes me less than three minutes and it instantly refreshes for spring. Another simple thing you can do is just swap out a few simple accessories. Whether it be on your bookcases, your coffee table, your side table, you can of course add flowers or plants. Some of my favorite plants are listed on my website at julieblanner.com, but you can add any kind of flowers or plants to them or simply lighten it up by taking out some of the older, heavier accessories. One of my very favorites to use is a candle. I love integrating candles into my decor and setting the tone with a really fresh spring scent. I like to lighten up my bookcases as well. One simple trick is, is if you have books in your bookcase, you can simply rotate them so that it shows the whites of the pages rather than the binds but lighten up what accessories you have in there, mix and match, and shop your home first before you head to the store. I hope you've enjoyed all of these spring decorating tips for your home. It's a really great way to not only transition your home from one season to another in decor, but also in functionality. If you have any questions, 
please leave them below. I love hearing from you and I'd love to know what more you would like to see here soon. Thanks and don't forget to click subscribe and ring the bell for notifications.